This section is asking you to draw an inelastic demand curve, and we'll talk about total revenue. The uh, inelastic demand curves are ones that tend to be more vertical. They begin to appear to look like the letter I, which is one way to remember it, is the more it looks like an I, the more inelastic it is uh, becoming. When it talks about what happens to total revenue, we have to keep in mind what elasticity is about. And we know that elasticity is the percent change in quantity demanded over a percent change in price. And inelastic uh, curves occur when the uh, demand quantity demanded doesn't change much with a change in price. And so uh, price may go up uh, or down, and that would affect quantity demanded. In this case, it's saying what happens to total revenue when price falls. So if price goes down, we're losing revenue because of a lower price. But we know that when we go from a point like here to here, that we're increasing the quantity demanded with a lowering of price. So if it's inelastic, we're going to lower the price, say, um, by 5%. If it's inelastic, the change in quantity demanded will be less than the change in price. So maybe we're increasing sales by 2%. So what we're saying then is we're losing 5% in sales due to the loss in price, gaining 2% back because of an increase in quantity demanded. But that still means that our total revenue is less than it was before. And so when you're on the inelastic portion of the demand curve, a drop in price will lead to a loss in revenue.